Yo, what's up with y'all? You know what I'm saying? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Unbroken Studios. And today, I'm gonna make a quick video, just real quick, and showing y'all how to do color separations, like for y'all designs. So I've shown a lot of videos on how to make designs similar to what you see on screen. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of you was asking me how I should, or I should show y'all a video on how to get like, y'all designs ready for manufacturers. You feel me? So. So we'll do today. So these designs on screen right here. I'm looking over here again. I got two screens. So over here we have these uh, simple designs. And y'all see these? I made these in a couple of my videos. I think I made a video about this one um, and this one. This is a, a client project. He wanted a, a design similar to this one, like based off of it. And then I think this is a throwaway but we're just gonna work with it in this video just so i can get the tutorial so it's gonna be step by step i know a lot of y'all in the comments was like yeah bro you got slow down it's not really a tutorial so this right here gonna be step by step all right so boom so first off i've done this before if y'all don't know i have my own clothing brand it's called i'm broken obviously i'm broke studios all right so boom this on screen is the design i was planning on dropping but again i might tweak it up a little bit before i drop it I don't know it's just some thought but that's besides the point so this is design that I was uh, using I already made samples on it and I already made uh, color separations on it so this is if you're planning on getting your design screen printed so this is only for screen print I've only ever done screen print so I don't know how it works for uh, DTG printing like direct to garment or embroidery but I can tell you if you want to screen print your design, you have to make color separations for every color in the design. So basically how the screen print works is you have a silk screen or a mesh screen and it will have a certain um, density. So it will be like real fine or be real whole, like the holes will be real big. I think 215 is like the finest it goes. I don't, I'm not sure. But um, what you can do is each screen is a color. So each screen will have uh, these color separations burnt into them. So for example, this design has one, two, three, four colors, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so it has uh, beige, brown, uh, pink, and black. So that's four colors that this design has in it, right? So that means we'll have to make four color separations and that means we need four screens, right? This is if you, again, plan on screen printing. So yeah, this is the design in a color form, in a color format. And then we'll go over here to Photoshop and this is the color separation I made. So this is the black color. The color separations really don't have to be in like the color you want it to be because the actual ink is a color that's going onto the shirt. Like I said, I don't know how it works for D DTG, but for a screen print, that's how it works. So for this first layer, right, so this is the black in the design. That's a color separation for that. I'm just showing y'all examples real quick. So this is the color separation for the black. This is the color separation for the beige color. So as you can see where the beige was, that's where this is now. Um, this is the color separation for the brown color. And this is the color separation for the, uh, the like the pink type, like light pink color. So if I turn all these layers on, you'll see, you'll see it'll be like a shadow of the finished design. But if I turn, let me see if I turn this purple layer off. Yeah, you can really see like the separation. So this is what you're going to be sending your manufacturer or if you make your own like screen printed um, samples, you'll print these out individually and burn them onto your screen. And I'll show pictures somewhere like over here on screen of how I burnt my uh, images into the screens. And um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a process learning screen print. But as you all know, I'm in college right now, so it's the production and uh, you know what I'm saying sample making process I slow down because I'm focusing on my schoolwork and I'll give you all a little more like 
videos on that too like you know what i'm saying if y'all don't know i go to hbcu so i can show y'all a little you know what i'm saying like being a graphic design art student in hbcu i can give you all the behind the scenes on that too if y'all want it so let me know but back to the video so basically what we're going to do is we want to take one of these designs from here and we're going to make color separations actually i'll go with this one riot records so let's take this in a uh, photoshop so we're going to paste as a smart object and then we're going to resize the layers now this is where a step by step goes into play right so well, I always make a duplicate so that's control J just real quick just in case I mess something up I can always go back so let's rasterize this all right boom so this is where a step by step goes into play so what you want to do is you want to go to selection color range so you see this little cursor you can click on whatever color in the design that you want to separate the selection. If you get what I'm saying, if I explain that right. So you want to isolate a selection. So basically you want to isolate a color and you want to make sure that that's the color you can use for your separation. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just start by getting rid of the background because this is like this beige color. So we're gonna get rid of that. So we'll turn the fuzziness down just a little bit. And boom that's our separation what we're gonna do you can delete it but the non-destructive way is to make a mask so we're gonna do that my fault you want to invert your selection first so you can get rid of uh what's inside not what's outside so make your mask and now you have the design like on a white background so now it's like transparent so Next step is this has what? One, one, two, three, four colors. So it's a four color design. So that means you have four layers with different separations on it. So let's go back in the selection, color range, and then let's select this, this purple color. Right, okay, so now we select the purple color. We wanna turn the fuzziness down just a tad bit because it's gonna select like stuff that you don't wanna select. So we're good with that. And all you wanna do is press Command J to make a duplicate layer. You turn off your first layer and now the color of the purple is separated into the design as you can see. And uh, yeah, still keep that like cracked vintage uh, uh, texture that we have in the designs, you know what I'm saying? But it was just separated. Now you could keep it as a color if you want to, but once you print it, it's gonna be uh, on a transparency, so you won't even see it in color. So usually what I do is I just make it black. Oh, that's red. I'll just make it black. And then that's that purple color. So now you turn that layer off turn back on like a regular design layer and then you'll just keep continuing to do the same thing for each color so let's do let's go back to color range now we want to select this orange color turn down the fuzziness a little bit because as you could see just now it was selecting the colors other than the orange color so keep that in mind so boom, now we got this orange color. We'll go to Command J. Now turn off this layer, and now you see we have this orange color separated in its own layer. So now again, let's go ahead and make that black real fast. And if you don't know, I'll, I'll pop a little picture on screen right here. Well, this is a face cam, so I'll pop a little picture on screen right here right here no right here 
I'll pop a little picture on the screen right here. I'm showing y'all what the transparency papers actually look like once I got them uh, printed. And I got mine printed from FedEx. It was, I want to say $30 to get it printed, but I printed eight sheets of paper or transparency paper. So keep that in mind. Okay, so boom, now we're back to it. Go to color range, and now we're gonna select the black in the design, which is really most of the design. We could turn the fuzziness up a little bit. Okay, so now we have the complete color separation. So now I'm gonna show y'all what everything looks like put together. So it's the black color and the separation the orange and it's the pink color and it'll all come together oh i'm just realizing we missing the uh the inside the inside of black how, come, how come y'all ain't tell me nothing all right so this is about to do we about to fix that so look i was mistaken so there's uh five colors in here so this is like a gray color not like it's not quite black so then again we're gonna go to selection color range and then we're gonna select this like gray color press ok then we're gonna control G let's make a, uh, a duplicate turn off the layer at the bottom and then we have this uh, the dark gray outline color. Not really. We can replace this with the black because it's looking like this. Like some of the black is showing up as well. But we're gonna let it roll. All right. So now this is all our color separations laid out. So I just put them on artboards, and then so now I can see them individually. So imagine this as the sheet of transparency paper that you know what I'm saying you're gonna print your design on. This is what gonna look like. So each sheet we're gonna have a different color. So that's four colors, and each sheet is a screen. But now you're wondering. I know you can be like, "Well, damn, how do I put it together on the actual shirt and make sure everything lines up like it's supposed to?" I got you. Look, bro. So all you gotta do is we have to make these things called. We have to make these things called register marks. So. As y'all see on this one, I'll turn on the design and then I'll have registration guidelines. So these right here, these little things right here, those are registration guidelines. So you can go and make these in Photoshop or Illustrator, or you can go and download a set of icons. I just made this Illustrator with the line segment tool and the, the, uh, the shape tool. So what I'm gonna do, since I already have it made, I'm gonna just control C to copy it. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring it onto this artboard. And I'm gonna paste it. And usually you really wanna paste it like really out the way of the design. So I'm gonna do something like this. Make sure it's in the middle. Make it a little smaller. Bring it down a couple pixels. Okay, boom. Now you know you want more than I want to say more than two, just so you can make sure everything's all matched up the way it's supposed to. So let's make a duplicate. Let's put it here. Let's make another duplicate. Oh. oh. And I'm making a duplicate by the way by holding option or alt on the keyboard, clicking and dragging. And you want to make sure they're on the same, the, the same, uh, their level. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure they're all level, right? So then you want to go in and select the three you just made and make another duplicate, but you want to put it on the bottom.
with their register mark so you see how there's purple guys on the screen you want to make sure all of those line up correctly with each other boom so now if i take like a uh let's see let's make this rectangle let's make this rectangle like this so now if we drag it everything's gonna probably everything's gonna properly line up as you can see and that's what you want so what you're gonna do is i would recommend to group all of these together and just duplicate them on every artboard so let's just again let's name this group guides or girds then hold option again and just duplicate to every artboard so they're all on the same place so you don't have to read you know what i'm saying do the same thing and this pretty much is how your registration is going to look this is pretty much how your transparency paper is going to look now, there's a little bit of overshadowing on this one um, I would next time turn down the fuzziness just a little bit just so you won't get this like like shadow looking effect but it's probably the same color as these like a light gray color you just don't need it but uh yeah that's how I make uh the color separations for my designs and if you're wondering what they look like on an actual transparency paper I'll just pop that up on screen really fast so you can see like the final product me i chose uh 12 by 16 um artboard but typically what you're going to want to do is do an uh, 11 by 17 uh ratio so it's going to be 11 inches by 17 inches so you can get like i think the smallest screen is 12 by 16 so if you print within 11 by 17 it should fit within most standard um uh screen prints like screen printers like the actual uh aluminum screen it should fit within that if you print it if you're doing it yourself but like i said if you go through a manufacturer i'm pretty sure that they'll handle all the color separations for you but if you want you know what I'm saying? To go the extra mile with your manufacturer and make sure you get it done right the way you want to, you can send them the color separations yourself. But again, you're paying for them to like do that. So yeah, and you can use it from a PNG image. You can use it from a, a like I said, like the source file that I'm using now. It doesn't too much matter as long as you have the design that you need and you want to get it printed. But Obviously you can't print this design cause this is designs being used already for something else. So yeah, I got the separation, but y'all can't use this. You feel me? And I'm gonna know if you printed it cause it's, it's my design. So yeah, but that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully y'all learn how to like make color separations for y'all clothing brand and y'all designs. Um, comment down below if you want to see me make color separations for any of these other designs and comment down below if, if y'all could understand this fully if not i'll go back make adjustments i can make a part two if y'all need to and yeah but with that being said thank y'all we on the road we about to hit 3,000 subscribers i appreciate it you feel me and um yeah man roll to that 10k you feel me and uh if you need a project from me my inquiries are open right now at the moment um feel free to email me shoot me a dm on instagram anything comment even if you need to, if you need a design i got you and with that being said i appreciate y'all for watching and we out peace